So, get in the game. I suppose I could get by on four hundred. Well, closing arguments underway in James Whitey Bulger's racketeering trial. The judge granting each side up to three hours and 15 minutes for closing arguments. It's an explosive case that brought the reputed mobster face to face with former associates, victims' families, and a former FBI agent who admitted taking payoffs from Bulger. The 83 year old has pleaded not guilty to participating in 19 murders, money laundering, and other crimes. Joining us now, Jeff Gold, a former prosecutor, and Anahita Setagatfar, a trial attorney. Thank you both for being with us. So, Jeff, he is accused of participating in 19 murders, but his defense is focused very narrowly on refuting the charges that he killed two women and that he was an FBI informant. Uh, some analysts saying, you know, he's 83, and this is about the Mafia Honor Code, which says you don't kill women and you don't become a rat. Is this more about his reputation for him? Well, I mean, I think the defense has been trying to portray him grandfatherly. There was a big debate about whether he would testify, and he made a brouhaha and said some sort of inappropriate things that he really wanted to testify, even though he wasn't. Look, there is, there is a RICO case here, and the reason why RICO was invented so they could string together 19 murders plus all these other rackets in the same case, a mountain of evidence against this mobster. We have a trial where Robert Duval, the consigliere from The Godfather, is sitting, a case Occasionally in the back of the courtroom and watching uh, this, you have the defendant cursing at witnesses on the stand. It's a, it's a major drama, but in the end, the state is going to convict him unless this jury is afraid to. She went nuts, sent him threats, posted uh, his information on a Craigslist sex ad, confronted him with a knife. Do you think they have enough evidence? <laughs> well, they, they do. I mean, you know, they do have enough evidence. You know, I, I'm more worried than Anita about this thing. There, I sat in a trial for three and a half months where a girl drove 10 hours in the desert to kill her ex boyfriend. Uh, these things happen all the time. In this case, she was a, a little too chicken to do it herself, and so she got her boyfriend. But look, her boyfriend went right to the police. That says to me that he knows she's a little nutty. So the first question for me is is she nutty? Is she insane? What's going on? I mean, she didn't just do it once, she did it twice, right. and you got to be pretty nutty to do that. Yeah. Yeah, all right, we're going to have to see what happens with this case. Jeff Gold, Anahita Setagatfar, thank you both for joining us.